So uh, Courtney and Travis have continued the We're Getting Married 2022 tour. Uh, they tied the knot in Italy yesterday. This is the last one, right? Uh, no, it's not. There's oh. actually one in L.A. that's going to happen in a couple of weeks. <laughs> All right. Uh, th this would be their third go around at the altar, and two of them stuck, kind of. Uh, not Las Vegas, because that wasn't real. But uh, this is spectacular. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, they the location, th look at this. Yeah, everything about it. And the location is amazing. Her dress, if you're into that stuff, uh, also pretty amazing. So this is a castle in Portofino where they had the reception. They got married at the Dolce and Gabbana estate. Um, it was a really opulent affair. And I think the best way to describe how opulent it was but you know when they do first dances at weddings, that a lot of times the DJ will play a song that the... Coming now, uh, welcome to the stage for the first time. Right. What, do they they what, what are they going to play, Charles? And then they queue up, you know, I don't know, something... Give me the song. I don't like weddings, so you tell me. Uh, what song? Um, usually uh, Ed We've Sheeran. only just begun. Ed Sheeran. Okay, uh, Ed, Ed Sheeran. Sheeran uh, yeah. Nope. Nope. Andrea Bocelli. <laughs> and by the way, not, not uh, played... Uh, you know, by a DJ. He was, he was there. there. Live. Watch this. So, remember, they got, they tried to get married in Vegas uh, with an Elvis impersonator. <laughs> So <laughs> they carried it forward to Italy where yeah. he sang an Elvis song, which is kind of funny that uh, yeah, Andrea that Bocelli sang it, an Elvis song. They brought it back, they brought it full, full circle. Uh, <laughs> so look, I mean, this was a big deal. Uh, Chris walked Courtney down the aisle, which I thought was interesting. And sweet. And there was a bit of a theme, too, if you notice, guys. I mean, it, like you said there, it was at the Dolce & Gabbana estate for the ceremony. They did the uh, the reception at the castle. But the entire family had been pulling looks from vintage Dolce & Gabbana collections uh, for the whole weekend. So I don't know if, it, if it's possible to have a, a wedding sponsored by a fashion designer, but at least they had a huge influence on Courtney and Travis's wedding. Okay, so my question is, were there cameras there for their show? It doesn't appear so. Like, they're getting on on and off like a yacht. It doesn't look like there's any like professional cameras. I mean, obviously there's like photographers and like tons of paparazzi, but it didn't look like this was filmed for the show, which is very interesting. I feel like this would be reality show gold. I don't want to sound like I'm talking out of my you know what, but, but um, there's no way their cameras weren't there. I mean, there's they, no way they don't. They had right. to shoot this. I mean, come on. They had That's to shoot this. That's the point of doing a, a over-the-top thing like this, right? Sometimes I mean, it's just for yourself. No, they don't uh, do anything for themselves. Normally, um, <laughs> I would agree with you, Charlie, but you got to remember the family we're talking about. And look, that's their brand. And that's what their fans expect to see on the show in a few months, right? So two things. One, Travis looked really uncomfortable in a tuxedo. Um, <laughs> you just don't see Travis I, I don't in know. I don't think. I thought he looked, looked pretty he, soft. He looks great. Yeah. It just... It was him getting suited and booted seems odd to me. <laughs> um, but secondly, and, and I think this is interesting, Kim looked amazing. But the question that I had for people in the room, and everybody was kind of sheepish about this, mm. is how great is a bridesmaid allowed to look in the middle of somebody else's wedding? I mean, Kendall Jenner is infamous for this. You guys remember where she yeah. wore that dress? Yeah. It was like all like yeah. um, open and stuff, like it, like a tiger got to it, and she got a lot of heat for that. A but tiger got to it. It's <laughs> oddly specific. It looked but. like that. But here's the thing: it's different with this wedding because Dolce and Gabbana. Clearly, there was some kind of collaboration. Dolce had designed every single dress that the Kardashians wore, from Chris's outfits to Kim's to obviously the the wedding dress. So they knew exactly what every person was going to be wearing. And of course, we've already mentioned that uh, they went to Villa uh, Oliverta, which is the Dolce & Gabbana estate. They also went on Dolce & Gabbana's yacht. So this was like a full-blown pre-planned thing. So Everyone your point knew is you don't, you don't think what. that Kim actually did look, she didn't upstage anybody. I don't think she upstaged uh, Courtney. Courtney looked, look, a lot of people don't like this. They think it was too gaudy, but... When you look at all of them, Courtney obviously stunned everybody. I mean, she she looked incredible. That veil was insane. 
So um, now that you mentioned that about Dolce and Gabbana, this is the, it seems the classic case of the rich get richer because I'm guessing they didn't pay for a whole lot because Dolce and Gabbana got a lot of publicity out of this. And I'm sure there was some kind of a trade off here, right? No. No. Definitely not. No. Hey, can, Charlie, can I ask a, a question to make me sound like I know nothing about fashion? Oh, well, that's true. By the way, true. Um, is her dress, would you classify that wedding dress as like a mini skirt? I wouldn't say mini skirt because it's a dress, not a skirt. But oh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a short, like, mini dress. Is that like a thing? I, I don't recall yeah, seeing I, that. I, I don't remember seeing that either. But I bet you yeah, will now. Yeah, I mean, usually you wear a gown, right, for a wedding, but the fact that she went with like a short dress is pretty great. Obviously, there was these big, uh, really tall stairs at the villa, so maybe she was preparing for the fact that she'd have to walk up this, these stairs, and Kendall Jenner actually posted a video of herself walking up the stairs, and she like seriously was struggling, so I think the short dress was intentional. So I love that they had Andrea Bocelli as their um, opera singer. They had like the most Italian wedding ever. And like, did you even see on Kylie's story that they had a full cannoli filling station? Like it was so Italian. And I honestly think it's so heartwarming that they're even having a destination wedding in Italy in the first place, especially because Travis used to be so afraid of flying after his trip crash until Courtney made him feel comfortable with flying again. And now he flew all the way to Italy for their wedding. So. It's just very cute. Hey, I gotta ask you, what's your first name? Maisha, I'm from Florida. Oh, sorry. good, okay. Cause you look exactly like one of my nieces, so I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna move on.